Hello everyone, Eidlo here with another devlog. This week I spent my time creating more base interactions and I made a little performance optimization on the Flux interaction. As you have seen before, the animations that I add on top of UI elements are based on a stopwatch. And the problem is that every element that has an animation will update every frame. With 100 elements, this is nothing. It's it, You won't notice it. But if you have several hundred elements, which is normal for a UI, I'm on, I don't know, 600, 700, you know, this will be noticeable. With a thousand element, it would take, just to have one animation on them, it would take about a millisecond. And that's already significant. So I made a little change to remove the stopwatch entirely on elements that no longer need it. This is controlled by a resource and basically a value in a resource that tells the system how long uh, it should keep a stopwatch. And this can be controlled later on from the theme that you are applying to your system. So calculating based on all of the tweens that you have, uh, the maximum length that it's necessary to keep it. This removes the need for a lot of calculations because the animated interaction will no longer match elements that don't have the stopwatch and basically just skips calculations entirely. I have also moved the, uh, the stopwatch to, to the sparse set storage because now I'm adding and removing it every time you are interacting with an element in some way. And just to show you what uh, I'm using the drag and the scroll interactions I'm created on uh, top of uh, the optimization, uh, I created a slider, which is something that you can, of course, uh, drag and you can scroll as well and I have also made a scroll container a scroll view actually uh, that supports uh, both horizontal and vertical expansion of its its uh, content these also react to scrolling and then you have the shift scroll uh, for the horizontal scrolling as you can see I'm already using this co container for my little UI test. And then the final thing that I created based on all of this is a floating panel, which has a little title that's draggable uh, to update the position of the panel. Um, I also added the resizable borders, which are again, drag uh, interactions. And of course it has a scroll container. So the size of the panel itself controls the overall size of the thing and just, you know, hides the uh, the content if it's too big. And that's it uh, basically for this week. Um, I'm going to continue working on probably the layout widgets. I want to get to a drop down eventually and maybe tab containers and perhaps the dockable panels would be good, would be good. I'm also thinking about uh, adding a tooltip already because it's it's not it, sh it shouldn't be too much of a problem to do it. It's just I haven't got there yet. Anyway, thanks for watching. This was a short update. Um, have fun and see you next time. Ciao ciao.